Hey friends, today's art lesson is all about print making. And we just went around our house and found some just household items, things from some games, um, some plastic forks, some Legos, Legos. We use some toys that are called zoinks. Yeah, those just were some cool shapes. Um, Lincoln and Everett, can you hold up those zoinks for a sec? Maybe each of you can hold one different and just show how when we are going to start printmaking, it's really important to observe what you have because you can use different parts of the same thing. You could go like this. You could roll it. You could, go like that. You could stamp it that way. You could go on the back. Yep, where that little circle you is could exactly. Shake this. Boom. Yep. Boom. Yeah, so every little thing that you and have. You could split. Yep, the and splits. And you could only do this side and go and do a line. Yeah, that star shape if you lay it flat on its side. Or like this, or just like this one part. Uh -huh. Or one leg could be stamped on the paper, exactly. So you can get really creative on each of the items, how you're actually even gonna stamp it, right? So for our printmaking lesson today, we decided to make some stationery. And we know that stationery is like note paper and envelopes. And we were thinking it might be nice for you to send one of your printed stationaries to somebody that you maybe haven't been able to see for the last few months because of social distancing. So tying it all together. Can you guys hold up the envelopes and show them that we're just using some old white envelopes? And we're gonna print around the edges and the back. We're gonna be careful not to print where we write addresses. We're not gonna print in the middle. That's exactly right, because we don't want to make it too hard for the postmasters to yeah. see where they're going to be sending it, right? Mm -hmm. And on the paper, let's hold up the paper that we have, okay? We can leave it big paper and do it like a letter and then fold it up to stick it in the envelope, or let's practice folding um, some of that paper up into a card. So Lincoln's folding it in half. Ever go ahead, fold it in half. You can always keep it folded in half and make it like a bigger size card. Make sure those edges are really firmly pressed down. There you go. And make sure they're lined up. And make sure they're corner to corner lined up so they're Not nice totally. and even. Not totally. Well, you wanna do the best you can do. Yeah. Okay, doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And then they folded it again. So Lincoln, hang on a second. I think you're folding it one more too small. Let's just keep it one more in half. Let me see. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, so we folded it twice, right? We folded it once, and then we folded it on itself one more time, and then open it up ever, show us like a card, how you would open it like a card. There you go. And then we can print on the front, we can print on the back. Um, keep it folded like a card though, Lincoln. So we folded it to be able to put it in the envelope like a card, great, like a greeting card. Okay, perfect. So fold those up. We're gonna get started with our printing. We have some paints that we put on the paper in front of us, and we're just gonna do our best now. We're gonna stick with one color at a time. And what did we say about as we print? Ever had a great question when, before we started the video. What did you say? I said like, how are we gonna wash the paint off the edges so we don't mix the colors? Exactly right. And what did we say, Lincoln? How did we answer that question? We said that we just keep on doing it, and if you don't want to do that many, you can do a one here and then on the newspaper that we put down, Yeah. and it eventually just takes off all the paint. Yeah, so you're just gonna print until the paint's off of it, whether it's printed onto your stationery you're making, or on a paper towel, or on the newspaper scrap that we're protecting our table with. And like this one, there's three different sides, so if you're gonna use this one, then you can still use this side if you want it to be extra clean. Right, a different color. You can use a different side of the tool. Okay, let's get started. So go ahead, you guys. Let's see what you got. Pick an envelope or a card, and we're gonna start there, and we'll just keep printing until we've run out of supplies. And you're gonna get messy, right? That's part of the fun of art. So you definitely wanna set aside an area in the house or outside where you're not gonna get paint in places that your parents and family would get upset. <laughs> so we're gonna just start printing and we'll see how it goes. Go ahead, Ever. Look 
at those messy hands. Welcome back from your printmaking. So what did we find out? We can use our hands and fingers to, to also do it. To print with our fingers and hands, right? We got some paint on our and hands. And we can color mix. Like I, I mixed a little bit of green and blue. Let's see that example. You were smearing yeah. that one around right Look, there. Right here. No, next to it on your envelope. Let's hold that up. Yeah, that this, one. I mixed up. I mixed some colors here and here. I did this one to make it brown, so then you could see like some dots, and then like it like the browns here, and then you still can see like some little stuff. Very good. And then I did turquoise. Show us, because we can't see. Light green. Oh, nice. So we can still see those orange prints behind where you started to smear I'm it. I'm eating. <laughs> Silly girl. Okay, so did we um, have a favorite part of this activity? Anybody, Evermoon? What was your favorite part of this activity? Hold up one of yours. Maybe Yay. show us your favorite one that you stamped and hold it up. Yeah, that's my favorite one too, I think. Hold it a little closer. Yeah. I love the purple border around the top and those blue stars. Excellent. Thanks, sea friends. Sea stars. Sea stars. All right. I think my favorite one is this one. Let's hold it up. Nice one. So we see the border and then the two shapes in the center too. Okay, thanks so much for joining us. We really enjoyed having you print with us today. And um, we hope you have a lot of fun doing this activity over and over and making huge messes. Bye. Bye. See you next time. These are masterpieces. <laughs> Happy creating. Happy creating. <laughs>